नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट दैट वी मूव फॉरवर्ड विद इज फॉरगेटिंग नाउ फॉरगेटिंग वेन एवर द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट इज ब्रॉड टू द लॉन्ग टर्म मेमोरी इज लॉस्ड वी से देर इज अ इनकोडिंग एरर or there is misplacement of some of the information that takes place and this leads to forgetting what was an interesting experiment that was done was by ebbinghaus and he brought in nonsense syllabi and tried to ask or see how much retention actually takes place now the studies reveal that the rate of forgetting is highest during the first 9 hours and by around 3.5 hours you uh, 3.5 days you see only 25% of the content that you read is actually remembered in your mind so this forgetting could be by three ways it could be due to trace decay it could be due to interference or it could be due to retrieval failure retrieval failure is very very simple where i say i am unable to think what actually was in my mind and there has been traces because of the time that has taken place or the associated concepts i have forgotten so that is retrieval failure i know the concept but at the time of recall i am unable to produce those concepts so might be with the retrieval cues it could help me remember those concepts in a very apt fashion the next is interference interference is either uh, a kind of distraction that is into your actual systems so it could be proactive or retroactive now what is the difference proactive means moving forward that means the past is interfering with your learning systems so in the past if i know english language and now i am trying to learn french this english which i had remembered in my past is interfering with my present french learning and that is where you have a proactive interference on the other hand there is retroactive interference which means there is a backward moving interference where new learning is interfering so new learning is interfering what does that mean this implies that if now i am learning french whatever is learned for english is not into my mind and there is this new learning of the french that is interfering with my uh, learning and there is the retroactive interference that actually takes place whatever i have learned new is interfering with my past learning the next is the forgetting due to trace decay trace decay is use use disuse theory what we can say so since you have not been using that concept for long you start to forget those and that is what is called as a trace decay usually when you remain awake during your waking conditions there is uh the rate of forgetting but this rate of forgetting increases when you are sleeping or you are in your uh, sleeping conditions so that is what is we call as forgetting due to trace decay